This notion that science museums are for noisy, crazy kids and art galleries are for quiet contemplation for adults only, I think no, is really not, not that extreme. Not, not that extreme. No, but, but would you acknowledge there's yeah. a hierarchy within the cultural world that says the Art Gallery of Ontario is right. a more serious, more honestly I than think, the uh, Science Center is? But honestly, I think that's madness. Because if you look, I really do. I mean, I, I, I think in a very multidisciplinary way as a writer and as a thinker. And I think, you know, we, we can't get women into science and mathematics. We have a problem with STEM, the, the whole technology engineering disciplines. We can't get women in. If you take little girls to a science museum, maybe they're more interested. Maybe we want to take them to all sorts of places so they're understanding there is, I truly don't think there is a hierarchy because science is absolutely crucial to our culture and art is crucial to our culture. And I don't think ranking them is helpful really to anybody. Okay, let me get Steve in for a response and then Janet. Sure. Well, I, what I really mean is, is, is in some ways in the opposite direction. It's not that kids don't have a great time in art museums. I certainly have dragged my two kids to art museums all the time. And, and we do different things there than, than adults might do. But it is the case, certainly in the United States, and, and if you talk to any science museum director, depending on how candid they really want to be, what they'll acknowledge is that the educational level uh, that's pitched here is at about 12 years old. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.